Okay, hey everybody, it's Will Taylor with another tip um, to help you get your art out there, save time so you can make more art, less time on the computer. So um, I just did a show last night and I got this picture from a fan. And uh, once again, this uh, quickie tip is about being omnipresent, uh, constantly staying on your fan's radar. It's You have to be relentless about it. Um, and this one is not really automatable. I guess if you had a virtual assistant, you could have them do it. I actually had a virtual assistant edit the photo for me and put the captions in there, so I didn't do that. I didn't spend any time doing that. Um, they could also tag it and put it up on your page. But you want to keep, um, you know, the buzz after a show is going to happen in the next 24, 48 hours. People are going to be high after, after the show. Hopefully you did a great concert and people were moved. And, and so you want to try to roll as much of that good feeling into fans that will come to your next show. Into and you want to you want to envision that they're talking to their friends that to bring them to the next show, to, and so you want to you know continue that snowball effect from one show to the next. So so there's a lot of creative creative ways you can do that. So on my Facebook page, I'm taking this this uh, shot for the the whole band um, at the end of the show, and I'm going to tag everybody in it. And think about photos or anything that you post on Facebook. You always want to have information either about the next show or you want to have something in the description. That, a that gets your audience to click or to take some kind of action, okay? So I'm going to edit that and I'll be right back. And I'll show you what that is. Okay, so this is a, a really easy thing to do. Basically, at the end of uh, every show, I get the band to do a bow and I ask um, everybody in the audience to get out their cell phones, cameras, or whatever. Uh, it's sort of a tradition I do. It takes care of the photo. Um, and then I ask everybody to post and tag us in that photo. So I usually can get a great photo because I will get about 10 or 15 different versions. So that's something really easy you can do without hiring a photographer. If you have a photographer, a professional photographer, you can get a really good high quality photo, then I recommend that too. So uh, the next thing I can do, uh, or have my virtual assistant do, is tag everybody in, in the photo. So I'm doing that here for those of you who don't know how to do that. It says, where was this photo taken? Uh, there's also a section that says, who are you with down here? So I'm filling that in now by just typing in the names like this so that everybody in the photo will be uh, notified of this and their fans will see it too. And then I'm adding the place here, Strange Brew Lounge Side. Okay, so I wrote in a little description here. Something got dis something disappeared. <laughs> okay, Strings Attached Songs, Stevie Wonder Show 2014. Next show, ah, just putting tags in. Central Market Westgate, 6.30. Uh, how to get on the updates for the shows right there. That's an action they can take. I've listed the players. I also put down at the bottom that we had a four camera shoot and we uh, did a high quality, high quality multi track recording, made available to fans. That's so that there's two possibilities or two uh, actions that they could take when they see this photo. Now, if I had some quotes from somebody, like if something on Facebook was quoted, like, hey, this show was unbelievable, changed my life, blah, blah, blah then I might put that really quick in here, into this photo. And over the next few days, I'm going to be looking for quotes like that that I can use. So the next thing I'll do after that is I'll say I'm done editing here. And then that is going to go out to all everybody that was in the show. It's, they're going to be tagged in it. They're going to see it. Hopefully they'll, their fans will see it too. And uh, let's go back to the main page here. I'm going to reload it. And the next thing I want to do is, in my case, I have several pages, so I'm going to use this share button. It's always better to post it one place and then share in other places um, because the Facebook algorithm, I think, favors if, if something is being shared. It, it puts more um, notice to it, more importance to that. So I'll just go here and I'll share it to my other places, um, my other pages, strings attached down here. Okay, so another thing for those of you who may not know this, um, as I go over here to options and I so make pro make cover photo, just like that. Okay, so I made that the pho cover photo. Click save changes. Let's see if this is the one that has the description in it. For some reason, this one doesn't have the description in it. But does this one have the description in it? Nope. So I want to figure out where that is and copy and paste that in there because that is weird. Okay, and another thing I'd like to do is I like to clean up my page a little bit, hide these. There's too many of them. 
All right, so there's my little tip for the day. Um, kind of help keep the momentum going from you, your show that you just had. And all of these things, once again, you can outsource to a virtual assistant. And I'll, I know a lot of my friends that are musicians, they say, oh, Will, you're an expert at this. I can never do that stuff. I just have to hire somebody and all that. And I'd say, well, that's what I do too. I have a virtual assistant as well. Um, and if you can't afford to hire a virtual assistant, then you're, you know how to do it. So, you know, whatever part, part or point on the timeline of your career you are at, you can use these tips or hire somebody else. And, you know, but it's always good to know how to run your business uh, firsthand. And another thing I wanted to show you really quick that I did uh, on the day before the show is, um, once again, you know, you always want to be in the frame of mind of thinking, like, how are you going to differentiate yourself from the massive uh, collection of people out there trying to, you know, put their mark on, on the scene and trying to get their name out there, trying to form a community, you know, how are you going to differenti differentiate yourself? And so you want to be, you want to think of creative ways that are going to get attention, that are creative, that are interesting, that are artistic. So one of the things I did was I was making the set list uh, for the concert, and I just took a picture of this little set list on that I made, and it's kind of artful instead of just being like a, a you know a set list of na of uh, raw text. Uh, this is what it looks like, as you can see right here. And uh, I got some somebody commented on it, and people liked it, and. It kind of brought attention to the show and the tunes that we're doing. Once again, I'm sharing the content. I'm not saying, come to our show tonight. You know, boring, boring, what everybody else does. You know, have a show tonight. Come see it. Are you going to be at my show? You know, this is an artful way of sort of sticking out from the crowd. And um, it kind of sticks in people's minds. There's all kinds of different ways to do that. And um, I'll be sharing those on the tips. So thanks for watching this tip. Please share with your friends. And I will be... Once again, having a, a boot camp on how to automate your business or your creative life so that you have more time to create, do your art, and make money doing this and be more empowered and enjoy life more. So tell people about it. Sign up on the link below, and we'll be announcing the class in the next two to six weeks. Thanks a lot.